Hi guys, today I came to Unimas. It's a very beautiful campus, really natural. You can see I'm just walking uh, by the side of this beautiful lake. They have a beautiful lake inside this campus and it's really natural. And I'm walking in the pedestrian. This is also lane for the cycle. Like for the cyclist, they can walk, they can drive their cycle in this lane. And also the pedestrians, they can walk here. It's a huge campus basically. And this lake increased the aestheticness of this university. The beauty of this university increased due to this beautiful, amazing lake. And they also have a hanging bridge, you can see from here. I'll be just going there and I'll check their cafeteria. Let's walk and go. These buildings are the student hostels, the dormitories. And each and every dormitory, they have restaurants or they have food courts so that the students can eat and enjoy their life. They can study in peace. It's quite beautiful. They have newly painted it with red and white, I'm seeing. And then this lake has a sidewalk and you can also take rest, sit and chat with your friends during the afternoon or evening. And this trees increased the natural view of this campus. And it also shades the pedestrians when they walk. Basically, throughout the whole university, they have this uh, pedestrian lanes so that the students can go from one place to another. They also have a bus service inside the campus but it's not always you need to know the schedule. These big things you are seeing are the water tanks if I'm not mistaken. Just look at the serenity of the campus. This university basically has its own stadium. It has gym. It has um, multi-purpose hall. It has swimming pool and whatnot. You'll have all the amenities that you need as a student. And the campus is really huge. It's better if you have cycle or if you have a transport. Other than that, you have to walk and explore. But it's a nice university and you'll enjoy your life here if you're staying on campus. This university, uh, the University of Malaysia Sarawak, basically known as UNIMAS, it has a lot of international students and also local students. If their management for international students is done well, they can even attract more students because it's a nice place in Borneo to study and it's a public university so it will be easier for them to get students as long as they give facilities to international students and they improve their service. Basically in Malaysia the international students after their graduation they don't get a chance to work here they don't get a visa like Europe, Australia, USA and UK they give a temporary visa for like 18 months and in some countries it's one year so that they can try their luck they can look for jobs that sort of visa after graduation is not available in Unimas or I don't know if, it's, if it is available in other universities or not but basically as far as I know the international students don't don't get the chance and if it is implied if it is given to the international students they can even attract more students and it will be better for the students and they can dream well they can try their luck here this is the hanging bridge of unimas it's really beautiful and it's always airy here like cool air always like it's amazing you really feel cool here you can see the view of the whole Unimas from this bridge, the hanging bridge. And in the evening, basically, it's 
a bit cooler and it gives you an amazing feeling to walk in this bridge and students can cross this bridge and can go to the cafeteria to eat food and have a chit chat with their friends the things that are not allowed in this lake is that you cannot fish you cannot swim you cannot do snorkeling no rowing no scuba diving and no diving but you can do some sort of sports here in this lake and you'll always have fresh breeze around this lake it's really fantastic and one of the places that i like of the campus is this one like it has a board there which is floating you can just walk there and see to your friends and sometimes you can also give food to the fish and it's really amazing this is the student pavilion and basically the food court it's closed nowadays post pandemic and even the semesters didn't start yet once the semesters starts you can see it's fully open and still few of the shops are open you can see they are preparing food that's a lot of food getting prepared here <laughs> this is the seating area where you can eat your food and it's just nearby the lake you can enjoy a nice view and eat your food alone or with your friends here is the ATM you can see we have ATMs of different banks Bank Islam, CIMD, Maybank so it's not any issue if you want to withdraw your money or you can even deposit money here here are the cafes and 7-elevens and also like other shops where you can do your regular things 